What's that? I was going to record you. Oh. <laughs> Should maybe do that at the next stop. All right, we are back from London. Had a great time in the UK, but with my buddy Volts, Martha, and my fat Bob. Uh, don't know, is this the last ride? Who knows? We shall see, but we're gonna go get coffee because it's cold as shit. After you, my friend. from the UK, got back last night, got rested, and heading out with Volts, just meeting up to catch up and share a ride here, get some coffee, it's kind of cold, weather in DC is getting kind of shitty, but uh, yeah, I had a great time in London, sure did. One of the, you know, I guess you saw one of the highlights there, if you watched the other video, was going out and talking to Rob over at Wars. The other highlight from the trip that was really super cool was one of my uh, subscribers to the channel here reached out and said, hey, I'm going to be in London for three days. Why don't we get together? So we did. We got together for lunch and kind of Piccadilly Circus. Had a nice chat for, I don't know, an hour or so. That was really cool. So I just want to give a shout out to Aaron. Hey, thanks for picking up the tab on those drinks, buddy. It was good seeing you. And I will be uh, sending you a message about a couple of things we talked about there. Man, this bike is so light. So light and nimble. Fat Bob's a fun bike, that's for damn sure. Check out the back of Volts's helmet. I, I don't know, I don't know what that thing does. I think it's, I think it has to do with the uh, pressure in the helmet or intensity of the headache or something. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got some content planned here over the next couple of weeks. And then I'm probably going to start dropping videos from mine and PJ's ride out to South Dakota that we did this summer. While I get some stuff lined up for what is shaping up to be an epic 2022 on the channel here. Got a lot of stuff planned. A whole lot of stuff planned. Oops, where are you going, man? Up. So, Volt and I stopped to get coffee. You guys missed out on all of that because I didn't really want to record anything while we were catching up. But here's that thing that I was showing you earlier. Break free. It's called Break Free. And as you start to throw it at somebody on the sidewalk, it... it <laughs> No, what, what is it? It's as you accelerate? Yeah, it has an accelerometer. So when it it um, senses that you are uh, slowing down, it will actually turn itself on, right? So when it's still, it will just look like this. It starts moving and then it breaks. Yeah. It works better when you actually. That's cool. And, and how much does it weigh? 15 pounds? Uh, it's heavy though. Is it, is it heavy really? Yeah. But it is removable, so you can take it off. Yeah, Volt says it's a little heavy. This goes well with his uh, accelerometer vest that blows up when he's not looking. That's cool. So yeah, so we were just catching up. Took the girls out for a little, little spin. Take another look here. 
one time we have the fat bob whose name I shall not mention at this moment in time because I'm having a little bit of a verklempt moment and Martha these two bikes have uh, have done quite a bit over the last how long you bought that a year ago right uh, yeah it was it was this time last year yeah. yeah this Martha as opposed to the other Martha previous Martha is uh, one year old I think this month um, right it was November right, yeah. yeah I remember the birth date of Waltz's bike better than he does <laughs> of course Sophie is uh oh, shit of course the fat Bob is uh almost three so all right dude it's been fun catching up I'm gonna go ride around a little bit and think about all the good times that we've had together on these two bikes Oh my god. Okay. Yep, you too. If I don't see you uh, before next week, have a good Thanksgiving. Oh no, is that not? Yep, it's recording. Need to go find some petrol. That bike's loud. So yeah, it was a lot of fun catching up with Volts. It's been a while since we've seen each other. He and Mrs. Volts have been pretty busy since they had that little baby Volts. It's been a bit of an adjustment for me anyway, not having my buddy to hang out with he usually would go riding or something every week but you know life happens and things change and we have to evolve and adapt that's what life's all about oh, this bike is so cool I don't know can you have can you have this much fun on another bike I don't know. So yeah, whoops. There you go, buddy. Just pull them out. So 2022, got lots of plans for the channel for the next year. Actually stacking some stuff up right now that I think is going to be pretty darn cool. Yes, indeedy, Bob. So listen, I really want to thank all you guys that reached out to me after a video I dropped uh, last week to kind of let me know your thoughts on the possibility of me trading in this lovely bike to get a road glide. Uh, really meant a lot to me. It, it really did. I think, you know, I was talking to Aaron when we were meeting up over lunch there in, in London kind of about where my head was and stuff and you know he was uh he was telling me that this channel is one of the reasons that he got uh, his own fat bob and that he'd you know taken a lot of inspiration from the stuff i've done with mine and and getting his modded out and everything and that was really cool to to hear and you know several of you have reached out to me to to let me know like what aaron did that you know no matter which direction that I go with the bike here that you, know, you guys are going to hang around and uh, watch our journey as it continues forward. That really means a lot because it's really cool having you guys, uh, you know, along for the ride here. And it, and it does. It means it means a, a great deal to me to, to get the, the kind of feedback that I get from our subscribers here in the channel. You guys are awesome. You make it all worthwhile. And I really, I, I really just kind of get like this over the top feeling every time someone reaches out and says, hey man, you know, thanks. This, you know, this video that you did really helped me out, figure out how to do whatever I was trying to do on the bike or, 
you know, or talking through your decision making process really helped me get through a decision I needed to make. That's what makes this whole thing worthwhile. You know, obviously I'm doing a lot of this just because, you know, I want to document my own journey and have something to look back at later, but it really means a lot to know that somebody's getting something out of all the work that you put into creating content and doing this thing that we call YouTube. I'm going to get some petrol and then I'll be right back to wind this up. Okay, so we are fueled up and ready to go. I'm going to head back home. Yeah, this video is, I guess, just kind of a bit of a ramble. Just wanted you to know I'm back. I had a great time in the UK. Uh, I might have some more to say about that later, maybe later this week or next week. But uh, I was super, super impressed with how things are going in the UK and the fact that we were all able to kind of live a pseudo normal life while we were out and about town there. That was really super cool. I gotta try this Texas Jack's barbecue out here sometime. And the whiskey bar right next door. But yeah, so anyway, thanks again for all the feedback that uh, I got after that last video from you guys. As I was saying, it's always amazing to hear from people. It means a whole lot. I actually was gonna talk about some stuff or to do kind of a blog while I'm out here today, but God damn, it got cold while I was gone. I mean, cold, cold. It's only two weeks. I was riding around in my summer jacket before I left. Now I'm freezing. I hope you guys are having a good one wherever you are. I know that uh, Tony and Dustin, my buddies over at the Five Dirty Bikers, said the weather's been pretty shitty out where they are in Illinois and Kentucky. And then, of course, Kid Moto 22 is already getting buried in snow up in North Dakota. I keep trying to tell him he's got to move from there. I mean, you're 10 miles from the Canadian border or whatever. Shit, you might as well just cross that border and get uh, free health care or something. See the grips. Anyway, you guys have a good one. I'm going to stop rambling here. We'll get back on to some valuable content, hopefully, with the next video. Take care, ride safe, stay warm. <laughs> I love this bike. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.